So a lot of you are going to have to use the pen tool a lot to trace, and you're going to have some difficult things to trace. So I wanted to give you an additional tutorial about using the pen tool to trace and fill more challenging um, shapes. This is the hand tool here. You can use it to kind of drag and um, situate your image on the page so you can see it. I'm going to come over to the pen tool. I'm going to um, decide what color I want the frosting to be. So I'm going to click up here. And I want it to be like a light grayish purple. I'm going to hit OK. And for now, I'm not going to have anything filled in because I want to be able to focus on what we call the path, which is that blue line. I am in shape. OK. So we're always working in shape here. Um, if we work in path, let me show you the difference. So path, I can do this. And then I can fill it in here. And it's not going to do it. OK. So and then if I go here, and I'm not going to get anything. OK. So for some reason, the path tool in, um, in um, Photopea only lets you do make selection. And then I could fill it in with the paint bucket. So we're going to keep it in. We're going to keep it in um, shape so that we can use the fill option. But for now, we're going to leave it here. And I'm going to start here, and I'm going to try to come around. And this is going to be challenging. I know that because I spent um, a long time last night working on this. OK, so now I'm going to hit, I'm going to come over. I'm going to hit Alt, OK, and I'm going to Oops, I'm going to click on that here, and I'm going to move that in. So I'm using my path selection tool here to alter it and just kind of bring those um, wands, we call these the wands, the legs, to kind of adjust it as best we can. And then I'm going to come back to my path too, I'm going to hit Alt. I'm going to click on that, so we're on that. And then I'm going to come here. And again, I need to, and I the key here is to make it, um, again, hitting Alt, adjusting, not to get it perfectly lined up, but to get it as close as possible and even looking better. OK, I could come here and move this. I think that's good. So I'm, I'm not going to beat myself up about this mess. I'm going to see how I'm going to make it work. So next, I'm going to come here, click here, and I'm going to bring this up to here. And you see how it's curving here. So then I'm going to, oops, I made a new point by accident. It's going to happen. So now I'm going to see what can I do to curve this out and I'm just kind of playing and seeing what could work, how to bend, twist it using my pen tool. And I'm going to come here and I'm going to see if I can kind of move this around. And I'm not loving that dip here, so I'm going to see about moving it this way. And then what happens if I just adjust here? So you're going back and forth, really drawing. And I'm redrawing this, basically, is what's happening. And I'm OK with that. It's hopefully going to turn out better than my hand drawing. Okay. And this takes time. Um, I was not doing well with this last night as I was learning to play with this um, program. I was frustrated. and. It was pretty ugly. So just be aware, coming back over to my selection tool, just be aware that you're, you're going to have to be patient with the learning curve here on these pen tools. Move this this way. Let's see what happens. Don't forget to hit Alt. 
I feel like this got too long, but I'm going to see if I can play with it. Like make it more of a dollop. So you can see that I'm playing with it. Oops. Gotta make sure you hit Alt when you, if you take your, you gotta make sure that's selected. Oof. And now you can see that the program is getting a little slow. My computer's starting to warm up a little bit and it's starting to act up. So I'm gonna come here, make sure I hit Alt. I'm still doing it. So I'm gonna come here. Just playing with the shape in the with the this tool here, the path select. That's looking better. So I can come back to my pen tool. Click on that. Oof. Now I gotta flip this out. Nope. So I'm going back in my history. And again, my computer is now unhappy. So I need to come back here. You can see it's... So one of the things that's going to happen too, I'm sure, is... Um, I'm going to let it pause there for a second. So in these tutorials, I'm glad not everything's going perfectly because you are going to have those moments when your computer is going to be running hot, the program isn't going to like you anymore, right? And so knowing to be patient with that so now I'm going to try to come back here. I'm still not wanting to do that. Okay. I'm going to get to here and I'm going, oh, I was going to save it, but it won't let me save. I'd have to resave it as a PSB right now. So I'm just going to wait. Let's see. There go my lines. Okay, now it wants it. Okay, so now it's coming back, starting to let me do what I want to do. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to move this. I'm hitting, again, I keep saying it, but hit the um, Alt button to move things and correct them and to press on them. Okay, and come back down here. That looks good. Kind of like that shape. And then I need to curve. I'm going to come to here and then I'm going to put a point in the middle. I'm going to see if I can bend that. Bring it this way. And get rid of this layer. And come over here. See about bending that to there. Then I'm going to come in here and grab that and bend it up a little bit. And because I'm behind here, I don't have to worry. I just want to get a bend there. And then 
Like, was it here? Whoa! I added an extra point by accident. So go back in my history. So let's see. Coming back. straighten that out just slightly, bend it more like that, and then I'm going to bring it to here, and then this one, so I'm going to come over to my select tool and try to raise this up a little bit. And move it. There we go. And then I'm going to bring this right to about here. And, oops, come back. I closed the path here, but it got a little messy, so I'm going to come back here and I'm going to come and move this up. And I want to play with that line a little bit. Close that here, close that there. Okay, the line is closed. I think I'm gonna have to get my eraser and erase when that comes in. I don't think I'm gonna get that exactly how I want it. And I'm wondering if I add a point right here. Can I, nope. All right, so let's see how this goes. And I'm going to fill it here. And I'm going to bring this shape under the crown. Okay. And then I'm going to create. New layer here. And come to my shape layer. Come to my new layer and see that one little area I'm just going to have to probably erase because I have one little thing, but let's just see. And I can even check my work because that's distracting now. How does it look? Looks pretty good. Um, do I like it as much as that one? I I'm, It's hard to say which one's coming along better. Let's put one thing you can do is put a white background in. So I'll flip that and just fill this. Okay, and then here we are versus that. And you can see the color differences. If I wanted to change color, I could come here, grab that color, come over to this one, select. Uh, go on this layer, select this, and fill. There we go. And deselect. I like it better with that color, I think. So one thing I'm going to need to do is erase that little bit right there. So what I'll want to do is really come in carefully. And we'll see if it'll erase on this layer. Probably not. So what I can do is um, get my brush tool. Flip this back to white and cover it up. And one thing that could help me do that neatly is if I take the pen tool 
and I'm doing got to go to path and I'm going to hit this and I'm going to make selection okay and then I'm going to come back to my brush tool and cover that up I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to fill it in and then select deselect and I've cleaned it up with that layer and then I can um, zoom out and you can see how it looks all right so in the next tech tutorial we will be looking at um, text and then we'll be talking about adding frames if necessary so I hope this helped um, for those of you who have um, difficult traces. I wish you all the luck and I hope I can be helpful to you and I hope you seeing me struggle and figure this out helped you kind of understand what to do and that it does take patience and effort and time. So um, this is the end of this tutorial and happy photoshopping or photo peeing I guess because it's not really photoshop. <laughs>